everyone's first experience of Minecraft was playing with their friend, breathing down their back, and telling them what to do. If they didn't have friends, just googling what to do in Minecraft. But that got me thinking as to, how did the original people who knew how to play Minecraft, how, how did they get to know how to play Minecraft? And also, how did Mojang intend people to discover how to play Minecraft? What did they put in the game to teach us the way of Minecraft? And I thought of the pointless tutorial that everyone ignores in the top right hand corner of our screen. And I decided to bring in an unbiased source, someone who's never played Minecraft before and generally doesn't play any video games before, my dad, to play Minecraft. I told him nothing apart from look at the top right hand corner of your screen for directions as to what to do. So here is his Minecraft experience. He spawns into a brand new world ready for adventure. He walks forward and meets his first opponent, the Dirt Block. Thankfully the Dirt Block reveals itself to be an easy opponent to conquer as he manages to jump over it in just a few tries. He then continues to do what the tutorial tells him to do, punch a tree. Sadly, the tutorial doesn't specify what part of the tree he should punch. He starts with the leaves, and then finally proceeds to punching the core of the tree, also known as a trunk. After doing this, he looks around confused. He doesn't know what to do. Eventually, he turns around and walks to the trunk and picks up the block that he has just broken. After he does so, the game tells him that new recipes were unlocked. How to access them, he has no idea. Is this the end of his Minecraft journey? He desperately tries to open a menu, but it's the wrong one. And then finally, a hint pops up. Press E to open your inventory. He looks around at his newfound menu. He reads crafting on it and knows what he must do. It is called Minecraft after all. He puts the birch logs into the crafting area and gets birch planks. He then opens up his crafting menu and surveys the many different items he can now craft. Should he craft a button? Maybe not. It's at this point that I tell him that he should craft the crafting table. The game does not tell him that that's the most useful thing. He decides to craft the crafting table, mainly because I told him it's the thing he should craft. He clicks on the other items, trying to find out how to make them. From there, he breaks more and more wood, gets planks upon planks upon planks upon planks. With those, he crafts everything that his crafting menu shows him is craftable. He goes through all the options and crafts everything that is available to him. Finally, after five minutes of the game not telling him how to progress, I reveal to him that he should place the crafting table in front of him and right click it to use it. It is now night time, so he surveys the area in case there is some sort of mob sneaking up behind him. Very wise. He then turns back, opens up the crafting table, and discovers a whole new world of crafting he has not yet seen. He couldn't even imagine such wonders as a wooden sword, a crossbow, maybe even a campfire. With his newfound power, he decides to make a wooden sword. He enjoys his new sword. Walking with it in his hand, he feels powerful. Then suddenly he has his first encounter with a creeper. He desperately tries to flail at it with his sword, but it's already blown up. He's too late, but at least he didn't die. After this brutal encounter, he crafts a pickaxe. And he hears another sound, it's a zombie this time. He flails at it with his pick, but sadly it's not his sword. He does some damage, 
And then dies. This marks his first death. But being the brave and determined individual that he is, he decides to respawn and continue. At this point he gets stuck in a sort of Groundhog Day where he keeps getting back to where he was, but then keeps getting killed. And he dies quite a lot during this period. But with each death, he gets better and better at crafting his wooden tools. He gets better at combat. Crafting. Not mining though, because he hasn't got onto that yet. After some time, he sets up a house. I was the one who told him to dig down, by the way. He would have had no idea how to find stone if it was just Minecraft teaching him. From there, he continues to mine down. He places a crafting table, makes stone tools, continues to mine down to find coal necessary to make torches. He continues mining deeper and deeper until finally he finds coal and he rejoices finally a way for him to see better with this coal he'll be able to make torches and torches he makes after placing his first torch he feels unstoppable the power in his hands he has the power to create light where he wants it to prevent mobs from spawning wherever he doesn't want them to spawn. The power in his hands right now is immeasurable. With his newfound power, he feels empowered to find iron. He descends deeper into the depths of Minecraft's world, trying to find iron desperately. Soon enough, he comes across a new and challenging deadly foe, Gravel the block with gravity. To combat this new deadly foe, he makes a stone shovel. He also makes a furnace and puts it next to his crafting table. After clearing the gravel, he finds a cave with an even greater foe, a skellington. For now, he retreats and goes at a different angle. He continues downwards, remembering the one rule of Minecraft. Never dig straight down. Oh, never mind. Stuck in a cave surrounded by creepers, he forgets all reason. He runs past three iron ore. He sprints. He forgets about fall damage. He forgets about everything. All he knows that he has to do is run. It's dark. He hits a dead end. He doesn't know what to do. He turns around. They haven't followed him. He thinks he's safe. And he places a torch for light. Actually, very smart move. Good job on him. He tries to combat this creeper and barely makes it out alive. He illuminates this piece of iron and still ignores it. Sadly, he does not make it out alive. Heyo, future me here. I forgot to do an outro, so I'm doing one now. To summarize Minecraft's tutorial, has a good start. It tells you to punch a tree. I've also seen it sometimes tell you to use WASD to move around, your mouse to look around, press E to open your inventory, all that good stuff. It starts off good. Then it kind of just pieces out and leaves the player with nothing. I don't know what that's about, but honestly, through the rest of the entire game, I just had to tell my dad what to do. The only indication of any progress were achievements, but even those, like, only appeared after he did the things I told him to do. Whenever he discovered a new material, he was told, Ah oh, yes, new crafting recipes. But apart from that, he, like, it was, it was barely there. Without my help, my dad wouldn't even have been able to make a stone pick. And any stone tool, for that matter. I'd imagine that originally the tutorial was meant to introduce people into the world of Minecraft, but people who already played survival games before. Still, I feel like most other survival games have stones you pick up on the surface, rather than you just mining straight down. And yeah, sure, you can make the argument that the game is called Mine and Craft, but, or, well, it's called Minecraft, 
where you mine and craft. So going straight down to mine does seem quite logical. I don't know though. Tell me what you think of the tutorial in the comment section. I'm a bit iffy on it. I, I don't think it's good enough. I think Mojang should make a better one. There is one definite thing, and that is that I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, thank you for watching, and bye bye